And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Line Dice. And I'm not showing you the box because there is no box. It, it, it basically comes in a bag with the rules and some dice. Now these are not cheapo little dice. They're actually engraved dice with lines on them. Let's see how the game plays. Line dice is made up of dice with lines on them. I know it's surprising, but the way that the game plays is very simple. Each player gets a certain number of dice. They are going to roll those dice. Whatever they roll with their dice, that is what they are stuck with. One person goes first and places any die that they have put out in the middle of the table. That's the first die. The second player is going to decide the direction you're going to be going in. So let's say, for example, the second player plays one like this. That means we're going in this direction now. We are um, heading towards our right, and the next player must place a piece on that side. Now, there are many different curves in the game, and this is a legal curve here because all arrows need to point the same way. So we're pointing upward. I could not have put, for example, this one here because it doesn't work even though I would be tempted to rotate it. There are cross pieces that can be added to the whole thing um, and, and those are fine to play. You could play them really either way and maybe later on something will happen where that piece will come back around and be crossed through which everyone then will think is something really cool. Of course this arrow is being played the wrong way. There we go. So you can see that you have a cross section as it comes through. Now, if it comes to your turn and you can't play a die, then you have to pass. And if everybody passes, well then the first person to pass wins because he made everybody lose. But likely, somebody's eventually going to be able to go out to take the last die that they have and place it on the table. And when that happens, that player is the winner of the game. If it happens to multiple people for whatever, then um, you know th there could be a tie. But for the most part, one person is going to win. Now you can hide your dice during the game so other people can't see what you have. Uh, or you can show them for a strategic game, but if you show them for a strategic game, your opponents will play things that will completely mess you up. What I normally do is roll the dice and then just keep them facing in weird directions so my opponents can see what I have, but I'm not making it easy for them by uh, lining everything up so they can see what's coming on. Now, if the game progresses, and let's say it comes like this, and uh, somebody here plays a straight, and then it comes back to me, and the only piece I have left is a piece in which I have to connect this so that it's an infinite loop. And I'm trying to find one of those pieces, here we go. If this is the piece that I'm forced to put in here, that is an infinite loop. That piece is incorrect, by the way and then I lose. The person who forced me to play it is the winner of the game. Can't have any infinite loops, although that'd make a great little racing track uh, for RC cars. But the, uh, so on my turn, if I'm forced to put that piece there, I have nothing else that I can do, then I lose and the, and the person right before me wins. So those are just the various few plays to place and win. The game's very quick. You can add or subtract dice to make the game shorter or longer. Now I love dice. I love rolling dice. This game doesn't really let you roll dice. Here's the deal. This game, when I read the rules for it, I said, wow, this is super simplistic. It's nah. Then I played it and I said, oh, it's better than I thought. Now I went in with fairly low expectations. So there is that. But this is a super duper light filler. You're just playing it. You, yeah, you can make it hard by trying to think ahead five moves. If I put this piece here, he'll put that piece and then, 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 then I'll put this and then they'll do that. But in reality, it's just put out the dice and try to try to be as as you know try to get rid of large groups if you possibly can of the same type of turn because it's those turns that are going to kill you. Straight pieces you can almost always get it, not always, but almost always. But those those curves are going to kill you. I think the game plays best as a two player. I played it with two, three, and four. Uh, the more players, the more things that will happen before your turn. In a two player game, it's like a back and forth. Ha ha! What are you going to do now? What are you going to go now? What's going to happen now? And I actually liked it that way. And in fact, in the two player game. 
I actually, one of them, I actually forced the infinite loop, which I thought was a pretty cool uh, mechanic in the game. So that's basically uh, it that I can say about it. It's fun, but it's also super duper light. So you have to realize that when playing the game. So you have to decide, is this going to be, is this something I want to play that's very easy and quick? You know, do I want that sort of game? If so, then line dice is one that you want. But if you're looking for something heavier, you'll certainly want to pass this one by. Either way, these are pretty cool dice. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.